Does burning get rid of the evidence? Does burning get rid of the evidence? The simple answer is no. The human body is made up of soft and hard tissues. Fire has a dramatic effect on both. But charred bodies are rarely destroyed completely by fire and some evidence remains. This is because fires hotter than a thousand degrees Celsius are needed to completely destroy evidence. Heat causes significant changes to the bone. The skeleton does not burn in a uniform way. Some bones experience more heat intensity than others due to factors such as body fat distribution, proximity to the heat source and size. Bone fragments remain unless fires reach above a thousand degrees Celsius. Key information can also be obtained from the position and location of the body, the degree of carbonization of the body, and fire debris. The body position can tell us if the person was alive during burning. If the person is in a sitting position, it indicates that they made no attempt to escape. If the body is found in a procubitus position, where the individual is crawling away from the heat, it indicates that they may have been alive and been trying to escape during burning. The physical reaction of the body to fire exposure does limit the information that can be obtained from the body position. Fire causes soft tissue contraction, tearing and dehydration and shrinking. Muscle contraction due to heat causes joint flexion. The pugilistic defensive pose is a physical reaction to fire exposure that is seen on the left. This is seen in flex bodies recovered from fires in Pompeii and various other fire situations. Fires rarely destroy signs of trauma on bone incurred before death. Differences in fracture patterns exist between burnt and non-burnt bone. Here is an example of a fracture that happened before death. Burnt bone is a darker color than the non-burnt bone and the fracture is seen extending from the non-burnt bone to the burnt bone. Heat fractures incurred post-mortem have distinct borders and small dissipating fractures appearing from these borders. Blunt force trauma occurs anti-mortem has beveled borders and large dissipating fractures from these borders. Sharp force trauma incurred anti-mortem is also visible as perpendicular charred cut marks. Heat fractures differ in that they appear as longitudinal cracks that were incurred post-mortem. What about identification from teeth? Burnt teeth are damaged by the heat this complicates identification by comparison with dental records and prevents the use of DNA extracted from teeth. And what about DNA evidence? Recovering DNA from burnt remains is not highly successful. This is because the heat from the fire breaks the bond between DNA strands. The excess carbon from the burning also complicates DNA extractions. So does burning get rid of the evidence? The simple answer is no. While the DNA evidence and evidence of dental work may be destroyed, there will still be evidence of obtainable from the body position and any trauma in the cranial region or any other bones.